Short Sell Agent and the Default Advocate discusses why your bank won't reduce your principal. Hey, Short Sell Agent, Default Advocate, Distressed Property Expert, and your Short Sell Specialist, Mike Wrigley here, bringing you the latest Short Sell information. Thanks for joining us. Hey, do you ever wonder why your bank won't reduce your principal, but will lose more money on a foreclosure, or will approve a short sale? That That's really all pretty easy. It's all about the money. Ha! <laughs> Go figure. Now. Outside the few programs mandated by the federal government through multiple settlements, which, by the way, mostly favored the banks, not you, the consumer, principal reductions are few and far between. Yes, there is programs like the Keep Your Home California program that if you qualify, there are principal reductions of up to $100,000, but the banks aren't taking that hit. You and I are. It's taxpayer money from the federal government's hardest hit fund, but that's a whole other story, so forget about that. But seriously, you like the home. You'd like to stay. And if the bank is going to sell the house for today's fair market value anyway, why not do a principal reduction to let you stay? Easy. Money. Let's talk about that moral. They'll, they'll talk about moral hazard. But really, it's about profit and loss. When a bank forecloses on a property or agrees to a short sale, they take a loss. When it, takes, when it comes time to file their corporate federal income taxes, they are allowed to, du to deduct that loss from their earnings. When they do a principal reduction, they can only take half of the loss against earnings. So, if it was you and you were in charge of the profit and loss, would you agree to a 50% credit? Or when you can have 100% credit? Most likely not. The banks are the same way. They're going to take the 100% credit and not do the principal reduction unless they're forced to. You see, for you and me, it's about our home. It's where we raised or are raising our children. It's community. It's our sense of being. For the banks, it's profit and loss. It's business. They are for-profit corporations and have an obligation to their board and their shareholders to make a profit. Pure and simple. It's not personal. Like I said, it's business. That's why I encourage you, the homeowner, to look at your upside-down mortgage strictly as a business decision the way the banks are. They're going to, why don't you? You owe more money than your home is worth? Chances are you'll never own it again if you're more than 50% upside down? Why? Call me. Let's talk. Let's talk about your options. To get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info for a free estimate, or call me for a free no-obligation consultation or for the latest short sale information. Call me today. Sleep better tonight. You'll be glad you did, and I'll look forward to seeing you.